Now, more than 2,000 people die from skin cancer every year in Britain, but more than one in ten of us simply don't bother to check our moles, which can provide a warning of melanoma. Now, Liz McLaren is fronting a new Boots campaign, urging friends to check on each other's moles in hard-to-reach places, <laughs> which we will talk about, Liz. Good morning to you, and good morning, good morning to Dr. Anu Bhatia as well. Good morning to both. Okay. Um, you're fronting this campaign, aren't you? Yes, what, I am. How, how come you got involved? I got involved because, obviously, I, I do actually check my moles. I, it's, I think find it very important and uh, just recently Why? what made you think about doing that is it just something you're aware of anyway? uh, yeah or? you're aware of it more it's it's it is more in the magazines about things like that isn't it and mm -hmm. it's becoming it's becoming much more of a fear I mean, the whole cancer thing in general really is a big mm -hmm. fear and um and I, I started to get more basically and you just sort of go oh my goodness what's that yeah. and so now obviously i do get fa friends and family to check that uh, certain things but before i go on holiday i get I, I go to the doctors as well and get do you them. tan yeah. on holiday? I mean, do you, or do you look after your skin now, or perhaps when you were younger? Did you? Do I do you... tan, but I, I, I don't. I'm not silly. I don't. I, you know, I, I'm, I start on a high factor and, and don't go to anything really low, and that is the truth because I'm just the, I'm, these days. I'm, there's no point. I really would rather use a fake tan than anything yeah, else. Do you ever bother with sunbeds as well? I used to before mm. Christmas. I used to um, go on sunbeds all the time, but um, a friend of mine had to get something cut off her lip because of sunbeds, mm. and I just thought, you know what, this is not worth a tan at all no, I know. And, not. and melanoma is the worst isn't it yeah doctor this is this is the uh, it, this can spread to the whole body well that's the cancerous form of the mole right um, I think you need to be aware of your moles and more importantly aware of changes in your moles and one thing that's quite useful is the a b c d sort of classification a meaning asymmetry so you look at your mole sort of draw a line down the middle and the two sides sort of don't match up B is the border. With a melanoma, it's usually very irregular or jagged, and it might actually have what's called a halo, like this sort of area of redness. Mm -hmm. um, C is the colour, can be deeply pigmented, like the one on the right-hand side, um, or it can have several different pigments in it. And, um, and then D is diameter or the size. So the one on the right is actually quite big. I mean, over five millimetres or a centimetre is quite sinister. But also looking out for changes such as itching, bleeding, and if it's elevated, that mm. one on the right was kind of quite raised. And is this problem getting worse? It's becoming more prevalent, yes, over the last 20 years, maybe because we're detecting it more, but also, unfortunately, because we are exposing ourselves to the sun. Yeah, so if somebody has something that they're worried about, what are they to do? Please don't think you're wasting GP's time. I know that researchers... But you are made to feel that way a little no, bit. Well, no, well, I, I, I apologise in that case because you really aren't. And, you know, I get lots of patients coming in who say that their partner or their friend has noticed a mole and can they get it checked out. And it doesn't take very long. On the whole, we can reassure you. And if we're not 100% certain, then there's special clinics in hospitals called suspicious mole clinics. And you'll be seen within a couple of weeks to a month and by a dermatologist or a skin specialist and hopefully they'll be able to put your mind at rest or if need be take a biopsy. And it's different areas are, are more likely to affect the sort of males and mm. females. That's right. Is Backs of the legs for females and trunk for ma or back for a man. I don't know why that would be. Well, I think the essential thing is it's, it's areas that are exposed to the sun. So yeah. please don't sunbathe and please don't go on a sunbed. And if you are, make sure you use lots of factor. Yeah, and avoid sort of 11 till 3. 11 till 3 like when that, the sun's at its yeah. highest. Protective clothing, a hat. Yes, all that, all that sort of stuff. Have you had your summer holiday yet? I have. Uh, I went to Greece, but as I said, I did, I, you know, I was very protective of my skin and went to the doctors beforehand and came, came back and went to the doctors. And who, who, who was checking you? Who was checking? Who my mum was checking me on uh, holiday. It was my mum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's sweet. Thanks ever so much for coming in. Thank Good you luck with much. the campaign. I'm Thank sure you. it'll uh, strike a chord with many. Thanks for your advice as well.